I am Hannah Collins and I am a junior at Purdue University. I'm Emily Pfeiffer and I am a junior. Well, my name is Katie Culp. I'm currently a senior uh, studying retail management with a concentration in apparel design and technology and I'm from Franklinsville, Indiana. Hi, I'm Laura Mitchell and I'm a senior here at Purdue. Hi, my name is Rashala Boss. I'm a senior and I'm originally from Pittsburgh but now I live in West Lafayette, Indiana. Um, my name is Jessica Walling, I'm a junior, and I'm from Lafayette, Indiana. My name is Emma Koner, and I'm a senior in retail management, um, and I am in the Capstone Collection, and I'm from Tell City, Indiana. Hi, my name is Gabby White, I'm from Long Island, New York, I'm 20 years old, and I'm a junior at Purdue. I would say the main thing that I have taken away from this concentration is I've like really found my passion in life. I would say that I really took away a lot of creative freedom when it came to this concentration because initially walking into it, I was very scared on what I was going to accomplish or if I was going to accomplish anything, but I really learned throughout the concentration that it kind of just comes to you if you really have a passion for it. This class has sort of like educated me on not only resources and tools like Adobe, but um, it taught me what I want to get out of the fashion industry, what I want to do for my future career and I didn't have any intentions of going into design at the beginning of this concentration, um, but my one internship in New York was technical design and production and everything that I used, everything that I learned in Christopher's class, um, I was able to apply it to um, the actual industry. So that was probably one of like, the coolest things that I've done with this concentration. So my collection was titled Grounded and it was inspired by just being confident in yourself and being grounded in who you are. So my collection name is Thread Riot. Um, I've always been interested in repurposing um, old thrifting clothes and just kind of like testing uh, different fabrics together. So I think I was really inspired by streetwear and like bringing different fun colors and um, patterns together. I really wanted to emphasize the bright colors of springtime and especially the transition between winter and spring. I'm really inspired by the pastel colors, the neon colors kind of having fun uh, and also drawing a lot of inspiration from the trends of 2021. So it's very warm, uplifting, and just happy moments and just springtime. I really like sequins. I really like glitter and rhinestones. And I also like those extravagant body suits and dresses that a lot of people wear when it comes to drag. My collection is actually called Mosaic and I want it to be a reflection of what I learned while I was here um, at Purdue and uh, my time at New York and how it's kind of like a combination of the both. If you've ever seen the movie Marie Antoinette with Kirsten Dunst, I watched that movie and like fell down a hole of historical dress and I just like fell in love with it. And my collection is definitely not historically accurate. It wasn't made to be that, but it's very loosely inspired by that. And I actually named my collection Marie. My inspiration for my collection was uh, the Victorian time period and making it modern. I really like that historical period and I love the designs from that point. My favorite thing about being in the concentration um, is really getting to be creative and also working alongside my best friend, Katie. I don't feel afraid to like do something different that I wouldn't normally do on my own time because I have those people to ask and like the resources. We're very different from any other major where we all talk to each other, we get to see each other every day, talk to each other, like go off each other's ideas, like get inspiration from our fellow classmates, like and be very encouraging to one another. Not necessarily a highlight, but definitely a pivotal point in the concentration was when we got sent home last year and we had to deal with having to finish the class without any of the materials that we had in the lab. It's not something I expected I would, or I, that I would be doing um, when I first came to Purdue. I didn't learn how to sew before and um, it's great to be able to you know, do your homework and stuff and be able to go into the lab and work with your hands and uh, be able to do a lot of uh, creative things I wouldn't necessarily would be doing in other majors. Putting in a lot of work, um, especially in the beginning, trying to learn something new, learning how to sew and learning how to use those machines. Uh, my favorite memory was probably when we completed our very first garment assignment that was like full size. That was super cool. It was a very big like monument. I would say the highlight of the concentration for me, it's less of a memory or a moment, but just kind of like something that is ongoing. And it's like all of our love for Joan. And we're always like, Joan, we need your help. Joan, like, can you come here? We're always laughing. Like we need a billion clones of Joan because we're constantly having her run around the room to help us. I want to 
want to design clothes for like any body type, any gender, but I feel like the industry is so concentrated now when it comes to gender neutral clothing that now I kind of just want to focus on the more design aspect of it. So I plan to move to New York City and have a career in fashion. I'm mainly interested in product development and merchandising, but I could also see myself um, doing something in technical design because of all the skills that I've learned here in the concentration. Either maybe a buyer or a designer or even just a stylist would be super cool in New York. So I am so passionate about just the fashion industry and I really believe that Life will kind of take me into the right spot, no matter where that is.